do. Blocks of playthings. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Good morning. Say happy Monday. Are you eating your shirt? Yes, you are. I show you guys like parts of my day and it's just, it looks very like randomly put together. But there's a lot of things that take up my time now. It's not very glamorous, <laughs> but it's my life. I work from home. I work for myself. Can you say hi? If you're new here, it's a, he's 11 months old. He was a premature baby. Yes, you were. You came out to me months early. So just says he's eight months, but I mean, he's pretty much motor skill wise, like right on par to his real age. So he's like, go, go, go now. I actually just bought a ton of baby proofing stuff for the house because I have to constantly be like watching him now. He can stand up. He's like starting to crawl, but he like scoots and you're getting into so many things. It's an exhausting but very rewarding job. And I don't want to have anything to take away from this boy. So I feel like I'm in this weird struggle of like, I want to work. <laughs> He's being goofy. I want to work, but I'm, I don't want to miss like being a mom and I don't want to be like a half present mom or like a stressed mom because I'm trying to get it all done. It's my life now and I just like I really have to come to terms with that. Life changes when you have a baby and that's okay. We're gonna play here a little bit. I have to run some errands. It's even hard to get ready for the day. I'm pretty much in my PJs until like his first nap. So he will wake up around 8 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock. I change a diaper pretty much every hour or two. And then we eat three to four times a day, two to three naps every day. So there's a lot that goes on in between all of this. Like I try my best to get as much done as I can when he's like independent playing or sleeping, I'll try to edit. Um, we're in the process of trying to figure out help for him because that's really helpful. Like I have my aunt that comes on Thursdays, Tuesdays my mom comes. We we're trying to figure out a schedule by going to my mom's, but she's so far away, it just didn't make any sense. So I'm currently looking for like a nanny. But the problem is because I work from home, I need to find a place where he can go. We did like a few daycare tours. Wasn't really a fan of that. To each their own though, like I think parenting is such a like struggle because other people make it a struggle. For example, he's still waking up in the middle of the night just once. But I think a lot of people were like, he should be sitting through the night, he should be sitting through the night. And so every time we woke up, I would get frustrated, Z would get frustrated, and we're like, what's going on? We have to do this, we have to do that. But it's like, we talked to his pediatrician, which by the way, that's the only advice you should be listening to. Waking up in the middle of the night is okay sometimes. Every baby's different. And so now when we wake up, we just like expect it, we do what we have to do, and then we go right back to bed. And it makes it so much more enjoyable for everyone involved. I think it's the pressure and the stress that we put on ourselves, just as females, honestly, moms, people, like workers, that makes it so much more harder than it needs to be. He is a freaking wild one. I also asked the pediatrician, I'm like, is this normal that he's like constantly wanting to do things and all this stuff? She's like, yeah, that's a boy mom. Why do they get blessed with a crazy boy? Did I get a crazy boy? Ow. Shut them. Bells. Bounce, 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 bounce. Have a kiss. God, thank you, please. We're working on this one. Let's see. Can I have a hug? Oh my god, it's so baby. You melt my heart. Xander was like, you better be careful, Bryce, and she's gonna eat you. You're so cute. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Put that toesy up. Toesy up. Boink. You're so close, Bob. I know, it's okay. Come here, Bryson. Give me your hand. You go singer. Twinkle, twinkle. I have to get ready. <laughs> And by ready, I don't even know. Do what I can for the day. So this has been like a game changer. The super goop. It's a tinted sunscreen. But there's like three ranges of skin tone. It kind of reflects the sun. So it just stays on the surface of your skin. Whereas 
the chemical base sunscreen goes into your skin and your pores and then I just do a little bit of concealer when he gets quiet I get so concerned so I'm gonna go check on him real quick he's just reading his notebook <laughs> and then I'll typically will do like my eyebrows sometimes I'll do bronzer and that's about it I've not actually really been liking mascara that's about as good as it's gonna get <laughs> I am gonna go work out I've been Loving working out outside lately just because I can bring him. It's not too late, so it's not too hot. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, and I'm thankful that the leader is working down there so he can just bring his computer and just kind of sit with us. Working out with him takes away the excuse that I can't work out when I have him. So I, I actually want to find like a jogger at a thrift store so that I can run with him once it gets a little bit cooler. So I'm in Florida, so it's really hot. But right now he's going crazy, so I'm gonna pop him in a stroller bring a few toys and then have him just sit outside in the turf while I work out right next to him. I'm a little restless this morning. Oh, it's cold, cold, cold. YouTubers and influencers are like, what do you guys want to see from me? It's like, no, I want to know about you guys. I know that my content before becoming a mom, and I became a mom pretty fast, was probably not people who had kids, honestly. I just want to know a little bit more about you guys. Are you guys students? Are you guys parents? So just pause this video and like write down below. And I have your demographics, okay? Like YouTube, it tells me your age, it tells me your gender, like all that stuff, and like, but I want to know about what you guys are currently going through. Typically when people go back to work, they go back to the same job. But my job is my life and it's online. So it's just this weird thing of like trying to navigate content with my new life. And I think I've just come to the conclusion people can leave if they want. But I'm just going to film like how I always film. And that's just like my diary. So I'm gonna go through a mommy little chat here. I was telling Z, he's like, did you get a good workout? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> Everything I do right now, I feel like it's 20%. Like my editing, 20%. My filming, I'm filming like 20%. My workouts, 20%. When I'm trying to focus on work and Bryson, I'm focusing on Bryson 20%. Like I'm not really accomplishing anything. I'm not fully present in any one thing in my life. So it just feels like I'm kind of free flowing. Nothing is happening, but I'm doing everything at once. And I think this is like more of a first time mom problem because you don't really know how to navigate your time and your life is literally kind of flipped upside down. There's this struggle of like, you want to be home and you don't want to work. And it's not that I don't want to work, it's just my work and my time is on Bryson. We're constantly thinking about the kid, you know? Like we're like, what's best for them. We feel guilty for doing one thing, but they're gonna not even care about it. But then if we do the other thing, there's another guilt involved. It's just different. There's like no perfect way to parent. I want to work, but I don't want to put on daycare. But at the same time, I don't want to work with him here and then I'm just stressed out and trying to put myself in all these different places in my life and not be present with him when he's around. Right now, my life is just more guided towards just like slowness, being present and doing things that make me happy. And I'm really trying to listen to that voice and be involved in my community more so than online. And it's like, what am I, I, I can go down a whole rabbit hole. Like, what am I doing with my life? Is this even a good thing, social media? I have at least three of these moments every day when I'm just sitting here thinking all the time. Is anyone else like that who's a mom? Anyone else? I need to learn to like stop 
and remind myself that I'm doing the best that I can, focus on things that I'm grateful for, and I get this kind of like almost temper tantrum feeling where I'm like, <laughs> I think that's normal. I'm back in sweat. Per usual, this is the mom, the mom pit. This is a Factor meal, which is today's sponsor. You guys know I love Factor. They're so easy. You just pop them in the microwave for two minutes and you get yourself like a chef prepared, dietitian approved meal. They're all super healthy, but they are very filling and they're like actual real meals. This one is the red pepper queso chicken with brown rice. It smells so good. I cleaned yesterday, so the whole, the whole house is clean, but typically I'll just eat it from the plastic and then I don't have a mess. I don't have to cook or anything like that and I'm eating like nutritious meals. It always has like a protein. There's different options for like vegan, your specific diet, but I just get the chef's choice. And there's like always a grain. There's always vegetables. It's just so yummy. Oh yeah, it smells so good. And I'm hungry. Can you go get him? I could have told you it was chicken queso from the elevator. Mm -hmm. Fiery beef and black bean chili. Cavatappi and Italian style pork ragu. There we go. Sun-dried tomato chicken fusilli. And then the spicy harissa chicken. Excuse me, Mom. If you want to try Factor, I will leave them down below. They have a code for you guys. 50% off of your first box if you go to factor75.com. They deliver it straight to your door, all the meals. <gasps> they sent me juices this time, okay? Apple, kale, wheatgrass, carrot, orange, ginger, pineapple, turmeric, basil. That one sounds good. And then apple, beet, ginger. This one I feel like Z's gonna like. Cold. He sometimes will breathe, it's kind of like heavy. Any premature baby, if they were on oxygen for longer than I think two months, which he was on it for a while, they have chronic lung disease. It sounds scarier than it is. It basically just means that they were on oxygen for longer than normal, but that's why he breathes like that sometimes. You go, <sighs> he's also got like teeth coming in. Ow, you stinker. <laughs> Bryson's food ready to go breakfast I did yogurt some chia seeds and I'm gonna mash in a banana and then for lunch we have cauliflower black beans and carrots probably we'll add an avocado into that and then for dinner we have a more hearty meal so this is beef um, sweet potatoes which is his favorite and some spinach that typically will take me about an hour to do and I'll do it once probably every four days but I have some leftover from the last time I did it. So I have not only that leftover, but this leftover, so I can probably make another portion without going too crazy in the kitchen the next roundabout. But I feel very good. That's like a time saver. It's like, it feels like a lot in the moment, but it saves a lot of time going forward. Xander should be getting home here pretty shortly. We've learned that there's a thing called shifts. So because I've had him pretty much all day, when Xander's watching him for an hour, if it's his shift, I can do whatever I want. If baby cries or whatever, I, it's not my responsibility. He's on his shift and it kind of gives me the time to kind of breathe and <laughs> become a human again. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of work here. Savasana. He's got me pinned, tap out. Meal prep for Bryson. He needs the diaper change. Feel it. <laughs> Ew, see? No, that's gross, isn't it? <laughs> Beef with his beans. It is 
is nine o'clock. We just got Bryson down. We tried everything. We went for a walk. We like rocked him. The sleeping is kind of challenging when there's like regressions going on and he's going through technically his like nine month regression. If you and I wake up in the middle of the night, we can go right back to bed, but their brains are so active and they don't know how to self do, so they can't. They know like everything is different. I know some people, people's babies sleep through the night. Some people's babies don't sleep at all. He will typically wake up like once in the middle of the night that's like the challenging part is like by the end of the day i'm so exhausted and then add the sleep challenges like it took me from 7 30 to now to get him down and we like had to go outside a couple times i had to hold him through the walk like it, it, it's just a lot i'm exhausted by the end of the day throughout any part of childhood there's like just different phases and it's all temporary one day you're gonna wake up and it's not even gonna be a thing like he used to sleep in our bed and it was like a big thing for us to try to get him to go to the crib. I thought it was never going to happen and then it happened. It's hard to grasp that when you're living in the moment and you're sleep deprived and you're tired and all that stuff. But there's like beauty in all of this. I think one day we're all going to look back as parents and think, oh my god, I remember when you needed to hold my hand to fall asleep. I remember when you cried when I left the room and those are going to be the moments that you remember. Express your gratitude throughout the day. That's been very helpful for me when I get in those mindsets of just exhaustion. <laughs> My toothpaste did not even hit the toothbrush. That's <laughs> how tired I am. proofing for the house this morning because Bryson has learned to I would call it like bear crawling but he's all over the place he's so close to just standing up on his own now he's starting to be curious about things that he shouldn't be curious about cords and the wine fridge and furniture so I bought a whole bunch of like baby proofing stuff the outlet covers which we've already started kind of putting around the house these sliding glass doors he's really interested right now in his closet which is a door this one is a big one I think I'm gonna need Z's help for it but it's like a furniture mounting bracket so that if he uses any like furniture to stand up it's not going to fall over on him these feel pretty hefty and i think this is the most important because we have like a giant mirror over here that's kind of like just catty cornered on the wall um are like nightstands so i think i'm going to wait for z to do this one because this is a little bit more in depth these cabinets so he's actually getting into his drawers already i don't know if this will work on drawers but I don't want him to like get his fingers caught in the bottom of the drawers. They don't have it on me these yet, but I think once he starts standing, I mean, I don't want him to get in the toilets. Not that I'm afraid of him getting messy or dirty or anything like that, but it's just for my sake, insanity, because it's gross. The baby proofing toilet shut lock. So this is for our oven. Our oven's pretty low to the ground. So he can definitely take that, especially if we're cooking and like pull it down, which we don't want. These are like go-tos. They're like corner protectors for the size of the furniture. And then I got one of these. I might need a few more, but this is a cable like box. We also have like a ton of stuff in his room that now is at a level where it needs to be higher. <laughs> That's like a little bit more fragile. So we're just gonna baby proof as much as we can see what else needs to be done. I cannot believe we're here. Pretty crazy. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I ran out of almond milk so I can't make my matcha and I woke up at five this morning. I've been doing that 
it's been really nice because I'm able to get my alone time in, which is so important, I think, for moms. <laughs> I had like two hours, so I did five to six was like my time with God, which was so nice to have a quiet hour. Very therapeutic. And then I went to the gym and I ran, and it was just such a nice morning. But I get a little bit tired. It's around two o'clock, and this is typically when Bryson is a little cuckoo he gets a little restless but he's down for a second nap my aunt was here earlier so it's been nice to kind of like have a chiller afternoon i did as much as i could around the house in terms of the child proofing but there's some things that i still need help with from xander once he's off work so we'll do that later but i got my nulli order in my experience was better this time just because i'm only doing either like new arrival clothes one literally had a tag on it or I'll look at the reviews and I have to look at like the pictures of what it looks like because sometimes when you get them just like anything online it's not always what it is on their website it's used clothes but you basically rent them and they're all from like really high-end designer brands they're all retail about like 200 to 300 dollars so they're good pieces but some of them like I said are a little bit worn down so read the reviews I, this is not sponsored, but I do have a $20 off referral link, which I'll leave linked down below. This is like a little, I would say fall style dress. It looks like it's from three people. Again, you guys, the tag, two for one. This is a little knit sweater situation. What are these called? I've seen these before, but they're just here at the top. I think it even looks good with this outfit. It's cozy. I see another tag. Do the new arrivals, and then the clothes are brand new. This one's from Urban Outfitters. Black dress another little i would call these like ballet sweater things because they look really comfortable it's like this knit top baby doll top i actually have this sweater in white but i thought it would look good in this mauve color it's this oversized sweater with this huge zipper and collar i think it's a really unique style so basically you get these clothes and then you send them back and then you get new clothes all next month it's fun you know you don't have to like buy the pieces but you can buy them if you want at discounted prices if you really like it i think it's a good thing to do especially for people like me who are kind of over the shopping or get bored really easily here's the first dress i kind of really love this it's very comfortable i would size down it's a little oversized but super duper cute this one is so sexy oh my god i'm obsessed we gotta definitely go to dinner sometime this month, like a nice restaurant because this one is really cute. I actually have one very similar to this in my closet and it's like this baby blue color, but I like the black. So this one's definitely gonna need an iron to it. I actually don't have an iron, I'll probably use like my straightener. But I like these baby doll tops, they're really easy. They're comfortable and they make you feel very feminine without really even trying because they're literally like a loungewear set, but they look more put together with like the bows and the ruffles and the cutesiness of it. Obviously they don't go with these leggings, but I'm not mad about it, but I'm not like obsessed. I like this one. It has an open back. Again, not obsessed. It definitely gives me the ballet vibes. And then I love this one. Like I said, I have it in white, but I'm too scared to wear it because it's such an expensive top. This color isn't that risky. It's actually super cute and I don't feel uncomfortable wearing it. So I'll link all these pieces down below for you guys um, if you want to shop around. Okay, so we kind of have a problem with Bryson's toy bin. All of these little knickknacks here are fragile and need to be somewhere else besides his the top of his toy bin because he's going to be able to stand here i know that's got to leave at some point but i'm trying to figure out what we can do with these things i don't want anything on top of the crib i'm thinking again about putting some little decals here on this wall so that would be filled we do have a plain wall over here though so thinking like maybe another shelf or something but i don't want too many shelves because we have the reading shelves let me know what you guys think i should do so imagine this with decals right like the little wall like leave decal situation that we had at the other apartment and then we've got this wall let us know what you think we should do this is, he's like on the go Wee! <laughs>
Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, puppy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, go higher, Daddy. Go higher. Wee. Hi, Mama. Whoa. And I'll just do the apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso. Can I just get one pump of the apple crisp? Thank you. Good morning. Oh my God, I hate when people park next to me. I really regret getting Starbucks every time I get it. It's just like so not good to me anymore. I don't know what it is. It's like watery. I did the apple crisp. I was trying to get a pumpkin thing because it's so cool right now, which actually is so nice. I have kind of gotten this feeling of like motivation. I don't know where it came from, but I was kind of just sick of complaining, honestly, and sitting here and not really doing anything about it. I think when you complain, I actually read something in my book this morning that I wrote down that I thought was like really awesome. He said, I am not an agent of complaints. I am an agent of change. And so I'm sitting here getting upset and overwhelmed and all this stuff. And it's like, what do I need? I need me time. I need to relax. I want to be calm. I feel very rushed all the time. I sat down with Z and I'm like, I wrote up the schedule. I'm like, I'm going to wake up at five and I'm gonna have my slow mornings. It's gonna be just quiet time with myself. It's gonna be like, I can make myself, you know, a coffee and put on my ambiance, light a candle, spend time with God. And I've been doing that just for two days and I can tell you it has made a tremendous difference in my day-to-day -day routine because I'm able to like start it off slow. I'm such a morning person. And so when I wake up and I'm just like hit with a baby and making breakfast, and having to get my workout in and missing work and just like rushing and then feeling like the day is like just going by so fast i'm able to like slowly wake up and be cozy and have that quality me time that i lack now because i'm a mom i finally got to the point where i'm like this is so annoying i'm sick of this and so priority shift like i really wanted to prioritize my alone time and i started waking up in the morning and i can tell you it just really sets my day off so well i feel peace within my day now i'm not feeling rushed in any way yeah sometimes i get a little tired around two o'clock it doesn't beat the feeling that i get in the morning and like being able to get my workout in and then having that accomplishment like before the day even starts before everyone wakes up it just feels so good i'm done complaining i'm so sick of this like angry feeling and i feel like i'm getting a lot of stuff done and i feel like i can get it done i'm not feeling like it's ruining my day in any way like i'm not waking up and just rushing to the gym which is what i tried to do before this is your sign if you're feeling complaining that you gotta change something and it's up to you and like take action because once you do that it just it gives you peace i'm actually going to fedex because bryson is turning one i cannot believe it but we have um his birthday invites that i need to go print out and then mail out today to our family and friends i can't wait to show them to you guys they're so cute okay oh my gosh bryson is one happy dude we're having it at my mom's house because she lives in like a really nice place that we can be outdoors i got the template from etsy i'll leave it linked down below We have oh. 37 people. Wow, I love it. You lose one. No. Who's gonna lick all those stickies? Oh gosh. What a treat on a Friday. We got crumble cookies. Bryson heard you. You have to get him. You have to get him. Can you hold him? We've got the crumble cookies of the week. Whoa, Bryson. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> cookies and cream milkshake featuring Oreo. Mm. Oh, there's like chunks. Don't you dare eat the Oreos. You got both Oreos? <laughs> Sander. That was like a solid 9 out of 10. This is Monster featuring M&M candies. I feel bad for people watching this. That is surprisingly like I would have expected more chocolate. Somewhere between 3 and 5, so 4. Guava cake. I'm this probably going to pass on this one. No, so you got to try you it. You know I've never had a guava? Neither. And you got it. Why? Mmm. No tang, just a frosted cookie. I got a little tang. Brown sugar cinnamon featuring the sugar, like the brown sugar Pop-Tart. It's literally a Pop-Tart cookie. That reminds me of my childhood. You can crunch on the sugar with your teeth. Third Pop-Tart 
Fourth, the M&M. So I agree with you, fourth is the M&M. Third for me is, is guava. That's just like a sugar cookie frosting. Then I would go with the brown sugar Pop-Tart and easily number one Oreo. That was like I don't know why this is so good, but it, it really is. It's butter, like in the middle, like soft. It's like biting into a stick of butter. That was fun. I need to go to the post office to mail out these birthday invites. It is 72 degrees outside, oh nice. It feels like we're finally transitioning into the fall. I think a lot of people online, and me included, start fall like way early, and it doesn't really necessarily feel like fall. I was in the hospital last year at this time, so I never really got to experience that transition and the excitement of the holidays coming, so I'm very thankful to God that I'm able to do that. Like you don't know what you have, even in health, until it's gone. And I'm kind of really reflecting on that this morning because where I was last year mentally and what we were about to even go through that we didn't even know we were about to embark on this insane journey. I'm just so blessed to be able to like wake up to 72 degree weather and be able to go take a walk and like be with my family and feel healthy and strong in my body. Like I pray over anyone right now that is struggling with health because oh my gosh, like it is probably one of the worst things to go through. You know, I want people to appreciate their health because you really don't know what you have until it's gone. This is just your sign to like turn things off, go outside, take a walk, do all the things that you feel like you couldn't do if you had your health jeopardized. It's good to be healthy, it feels really good. I am gonna enjoy this weekend, this cooler weekend. I'm gonna have myself a nice Sunday, we're gonna go to church, I'm gonna clean. It's like, that's like my day. I love Sundays now, <laughs> like my therapy and then kind of just have a chiller day today we actually have another church group that we're going to and Xander's gonna play softball which he was a professional baseball player like baseball is in his family his brother is one and I've never seen him play because when I met him he had already I would say like quote-unquote retired it'll be cute to watch and I obviously he's gonna go like way easier on these people because I don't think they know that he's a professional or was a professional I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching I will see you guys all in October Bye.